back to week four of our series, Promise. I'm Ms. Kim, the Director of Ministries here at Caw Prairie Community Church in Lenexa, Kansas, and I am so thankful that you are joining me today. We've been talking about God's promises all month, okay, and our, you know, Paradise Island is something I asked you about your uh, week one. I asked you what your Paradise Island would be like, and if you're on your Paradise Island, and let's say you want a different foods or you want different drinks or something, you might want it right then, right then and right there, right? You better like snap your finger and there it is, okay? Um, but sometimes we have to wait for things, especially if it's like, if it's food cooking, okay? Maybe you want those brownies or those cookies because they smell really good, uh, but you have to wait because it's not always great to eat things that aren't cooked all the way through. Uh, so sometimes we have to wait for things <laughs> that we want, okay? Um, there is a song on the radio that you might have heard before that says, says, uh, the promises are up ahead. Maybe you just haven't seen it. You just haven't seen it yet. And that's a little bit of a clue uh, for our story today. It's like a two-part story today, and it'll finish up next week. But before we get into all of that, I want us to sing and dance, and let's get our worship on with this song. you had a good time getting your boogie down with that song. Um, I want to ask you a question about your dreams, okay? How many of you remember your dreams? I do. I usually remember my dreams. It, sometimes they seem so real that when I wake up, I'm like, oh, I hope that didn't happen. Or I'm like, oh, I wish that dream wouldn't stop, okay? Um, but some people don't remember their dreams, but maybe you do. Um, sometimes we have specific dreams and everyone has like the same kind of specific dream, which can be kind of weird, but there's like a psychological explanation for it that I don't really know about, but you might understand. Okay. I want you to think to yourself, have you ever had a dream where you were 
falling. Like you literally woke up and you're like, oh my goodness. And you thought you were falling out of your bed or you thought you were falling through your bed and in your brain you were falling like Alice in Wonderland when she falls down the rabbit hole. Have you ever had a dream when you're falling? I definitely have. Um, have you ever had a dream that something was chasing you? Like someone or something was chasing you and you're trying to run away. You ever had a dream like that? I definitely have and sometimes like I can't go fast enough or I'm trying to like yell and I can't, I can't yell and that's very frustrating um, and terrifying at the same time. Have you ever had a dream that you were flying? That's kind of a fun one, okay? Have you ever had a dream where you're flying? I don't think I've ever had a dream where I was flying, I'm not sure. And then have you ever had a dream about yourself in the future? So those of you watching me, depending on your age, uh, maybe you're having dreams now about what you're gonna be when you grow up or the, or the kind of family you might have or if you're an adult watching this with your child, maybe you have a dream about um, you know, what you're like after you're done working in, in your life or what your grandkids will be like. Um, we all have dreams and, and sometimes, like I said, the dreams do mean something. They tell us something. Um, we, there are people who interpret dreams and in our story, today we're gonna to learn about Joseph and Joseph had lots of dreams and his dreams are really important and some of them didn't come true right away but some of them did come true of actually all of them came true eventually and that was a really special gift and promise that God gave him so we're gonna to go to our storyteller who it always is every week the one and only Carl take it away Carl hi there little chicken nuggets me Carl Welcome to Glow TV! And I'm Cassie. Welcome to Glow TV! Introducing your host, Carl! And your co-host, Cassie. Where we learn, where we grow, and we talk about Jesus. Once again, welcome to Grow TV. Hey everyone, we're so glad to see you today, aren't we Carl? Yep, couldn't be happier. Alright, so today we have a very special story, don't we Carl? We sure do. Come on plant, show me something! Grow! Hey Carl. What's up? Maybe it's just me, but I don't feel like you're very focused today. What do you mean? Well, I feel like you're not really paying attention and you're just like really fixated on that plant. Mm-hmm. Did you hear what I just said? Of course. What did I say then? You said elephants are kind of cool, but they kind of stink too. But whatever, elephants can be themselves if they want to. What? No. What's going on, Carl? Well, it's my mamma's birthday this Saturday. And for her birthday, I wanted to get her a plant. The biggest plant she's ever had. So when I went to the store, this is the only one that they had. But they did tell me that it will eventually grow up and become really beautiful. It's just taking forever. Ah, that makes sense now. I mean, I believe them when they say it's gonna be big and beautiful, but I think it needs one thing. I know, I know. Sun and water. I've given them that, but still nothing. No, I had another idea that might help. You do? Tell me! Cassie, please tell me! I need to know! Well, first I wanna tell you our story of the day. I can't wait, Cassie. The birthday is next week. What does it need? Does it need motivation? I want you to grow right now. Plant, grow big for me. You can do it. I believe in you. Grow, grow, grow. Does it need soothing music? Come on, plant. I believe in you. Let the smooth jazz overcome you and grow now. Does it need protein? Come on, come on, plant. I think these Oreo cookies have a lot of protein in them. You can do it. Grow. Does it need an inspirational movie? <laughs> we'll get it. <laughs> Barbies don't have wings. I can't think of anything. Well, maybe the story of Joseph will help. Who's Joseph? Do you name a plant named Joseph? No, Joseph from the Bible. Oh. Still no idea. All right, well, a long time ago, there was a father who had many sons, and one of the sons was Joseph, and Joseph was very special. Did he have, like, really good hearing or something? I don't think so. Can he speak to animals? Don't think so. Could he talk to How about I finish the story and we can ask the questions after? Sounds good. So one day when Joseph was a kid, 
he had a really strange dream that all of his brothers would bow down to him and he would be a ruler. And you can imagine his brothers didn't like that. I bet. So what happened next? Well, the brothers were so jealous of Joseph that they threw him into a pit. Well, did they get him out of there? Why would anyone treat someone like that? I wish I could say they helped him, but they didn't. In fact, they did something even worse. Joseph's brothers decided to pull him out of the pit and sell him to merchants passing by. That is horrible. It is horrible. People should never be sold. And his brothers did it for a measly 20 shekels of silver. Everything is going wrong. How can this ever go right? Well, Joseph was forced to work as a slave in Egypt for many years. He did okay and was finding a way to survive in a new culture that wasn't his own. But then bam, he was put in jail for something he didn't do. But you know what? What? Joseph eventually made his way into becoming the second most powerful leader in Egypt. Even his brothers would one day come to Egypt and find themselves bowing down to him. Just like his dream. Exactly. God promised him something and it took years to actually come true. Wow, that's really cool. I guess it's hard to wait that long. True, but God's promises are worth it and God knows what's best for us. You're right. So the plant may take a while to grow. I guess that's okay. Some things take time. God's promises might take time. Whoa. Whoa, that's our big idea. Today's big idea is God's promises might take time. On the count of three, say it out loud, okay? One, two, three. three. God's promises might take time. Woohoo! They sure might. <laughs> but good job. So are you okay with your plant growing slowly? Yeah. I mean, I'll love it, even if it takes a little longer to grow. Good. Plus, you can always buy her chocolate. She loves chocolate. That's true. But she's also very lactose intolerant, so she might fart a lot. <laughs> That's all, kids. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. Thank you, Carl, for sharing that story about patience with us. Um, all right, guys, once again, we are in the book of Genesis, first book of the Bible. Genesis right there, the story of Joseph. This is actually a really long story that goes over many, many chapters. And so this is just part of the story. Remember that. I said that earlier. So we're going to start, though, with just talking about Joseph's dreams. So once again, I've got my whiteboard that I'm going to, uh, to draw for you. Uh, we're going we're gonna to call this, like, Joseph dream board okay Joseph's dream board all right so sometimes people create dream boards for things that they want to see as they grow up or maybe they're building a house and they want certain things in their house and they they kind of just put it together and a lot of times it comes from like magazine clippings or newspaper articles or just anything fabric swatches whatever they would might find around that they would put together on this dream board so what we learned in the story here what we we've we've been told um, what were some things that Joseph saw himself as one day so he had lots of and lots of brothers so we're gonna just draw some sticks here okay lots and lots of brothers and then Joseph though is like the best and the biggest now in in like reality he was not the oldest um, he wasn't I don't think he was the youngest either but he he definitely was not like anything top dog okay but his dreams he totally was all right um, let's see here maybe Joseph would dream one day that he could be like the fastest so what might we draw for the fastest oh gosh hmm I don't know maybe we could draw like a foot oh guys okay like a foot like the shoes this is shoelaces and maybe we've got like fire like like he's going really fast maybe he's dreaming that he's the fastest uh, what else could he be maybe hmm Oh, maybe he could be, what might he dream that he would be the best at? Let's see. Maybe he'd be like the best like sheep wrangler. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Okay, so we're going to draw like a sheep. And then a sheep's going to smile. And like his little sheep ears. <laughs> his little furry sheep wool. Bah, right? Okay. There we go. The sheep. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the best sheep wrangler. Uh, something really cool about Joseph is that he had this really awesome coat, right? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> it's really, guys, 
I did not do well in art, but that's okay. It's good anyway. All right, he's got this really amazing coat with lots and lots of pretty colors. And it was very, very cool, and his dad gave it to him. So he had all these cool dreams, right? Well, Joseph's brothers um, were not impressed by Joseph's dreams, and they were like, one, like probably thinking he was crazy because he had all these really specific dreams. But then also, like he's telling them that, like, I'm gonna rule over you, like you're gonna bow down to me, and and he was already his dad's favorite, so that didn't go over super well with his brothers, as you can imagine. Um, and then you know at the end of our story here, the brothers uh, let their anger and their jealousy take over and Joseph ends up in a hole, um, but then also then getting sold into slavery. And so these dreams don't seem like they're coming true quite yet. <laughs> all right. If at all, I mean, Joseph might be thinking, Ooh, maybe I was a little bit off. Right. Um, so right now, Joseph is just waiting for these perfect moments where these dreams are going to come true, which brings us to our big idea that Carl shared with us just a little bit ago. So let's do our drum roll, drum roll. Where are we putting the drum roll? God's promises might take time. Big idea. God's promises might take time. And that might is pretty big, I think. In my life, I know for sure that I, you know, waiting is hard, but it's important. I think we've all been there. Patience is important. And it's important to remember that God's promises might take time. All right, friends, thank you again for joining me week four of the Promise series. We have one more week left um, in this awesome series, and we're going to learn the rest of the story that we started today. So be sure to stay connected with us. Stay connected with us here on YouTube or wherever you're watching this at, Facebook. Um, get on our website. We've got our lessons posted there, too. Make sure you're getting our emails. Call us up. Send us an email. Come see us at Open Gym or at, in the cafe or wherever we might see you at. Uh, we want to be connected with you and we want to support you. So be sure to do that. Um, don't forget we are memorizing our monthly memory verse from the book of Joshua chapter 25 verse, uh, sorry, chapter 21 verse 45. Slow down, Miss Kim. Not one of all the Lord's pro good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. I love that. Not one of them failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Let's go ahead and practice our sign language now. Joshua 21, 45. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Great job, everybody. Keep practicing. Keep memorizing. I know you're going to get it. You're going to have it uh, before the end of the month, and then we'll learn a whole new one next month. All right, guys, let's go ahead and pray. God, even when things don't look too promising, you promise to be with us and guide us through it all. Give us big dreams and help us to remember that those dreams may take some time to come true, and that's okay. You know what's best for us, so we will wait for you to show us. Amen. Have a great week, everybody, and I will see you next week for our last episode in our series, Promise. See you later. Like a bird in the big blue sky
I was in a lurch and I won't worry